All right, traders, good morning. My name is John Paul, daytradetowin.com. I just want to do a quick recap here. Today is May 8, 2012, 5-8-2012. The year is really flying by. We're almost halfway through the year, believe it or not. What I want to show you today is what's happening in the E-mini S&P. I'm going to show you the Atlas Line trade of the day. Those of you who have the Atlas Line, you know the order already. 1356.75 is the entry, and the reason being is that we have two consecutive closings. That's the setup below the Atlas Line. So we're going short at 1356.75, and I see here that there is a ATR of two and a half points. That's typically what I recommend we take on profit. I don't know if it's going to go to 5 points or 10 points, but at the time, this is what the current market conditions were telling me that we should be taking. So 2.5 points, and if my math is correct, I believe it's about 13.54 quarter, right? And so there's your two and a half points right there. I always know a direction. I'm going to go long or short. If I'm using the Atlas line, I'm going to look for short trades, but when the proper setup appears, and I have rules that go along with using the software. So 1356.75. Now, the market continues to go short, and I have here another short trade here at 51 quarter, which I usually go for about a point on this trade, but the ATR is pretty high. It's two and a half. Remember, on the E-mini S&P, what's normal and what I've seen over the last 15 years is two, between two and three on the S&P 500 is what's considered normal on a five-minute uh, range per bar. So I have here what I consider normal. It's been very slow for the last few months, but this is what I consider normal. And so I'm only going to go for about a point or point and a quarter, even though it's working at a good clip. And currently, this is where we are, a short entry at 52.75. And you can see it's a very easy um, trade to grab a point at least on this strength trade, as you can see it on the Atlas line. Now, we have a down day today. And usually, when I look at days, I look at them as trending or not trending and so forth. A few of the, of the things that I teach is how to anticipate a day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to yesterday. I'm going to show you what happened yesterday. And on the Atlas line here, I have some arrows and things here. You can see that it was also a trending day. But I want you to think about not that the market trended up and today that the market is trending down, I just want you to think that they're both trending days. And the reason why I say that is because days usually trend consecutively. So take out of the equation the direction, up or down, and just say to yourself, um, is it trending or not trending? And usually we have consecutive days that trend, regardless if one day goes up, the other day goes down. So here, I have here a long trade. I have a short trade here that didn't work out. I have uh, here another long trade that was good. And I have all these strength and pullback trades all telling me to go long. So if you looked at the direction of the day, it was definitely long. And the entire day, you just kept on going long based on either the double bar long trades or the pullback and strength trades. This is all part of the Atlas Line software. This is yesterday, May 7th, 2012. And then towards the end of the day, we have a short. Okay, So I always look at where to go long and where to go short, but always using proper setups. If you have any questions, email me, support at daytradetowin.com. Remember, I have a new mentorship class beginning May 9th, 2012. Email me with any of your comments and questions. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.